The ideal candidate for a facelift is a patient who is unhappy with the appearance of his or her face due to the effect that time and gravity has had on uh, all of the soft tissue structures. With time and gravity, everything on our body stretches out and specifically everything in the face begins to descend. Uh, the folds in all of the areas of creases on our face begin to deepen and the volume that was at one time very full is now dropping. So the ideal candidate is someone who at one point had a fuller face, a youthful face. Now everything has descended and their goal is to lift everything back up. Hence the term facelift. So anyone who has gotten to a point in their life where there's too much soft tissue that has descended off of the skeletal structure of their face is a candidate for having that soft tissue lifted back up. Obviously there are medical considerations and patients should not be smokers and uh, patients should have realistic expectations, but if there is excess skin and a little bit of excess fatty tissue on the lower portion of the face or the neck, by doing a facelift and making small little incisions around the ear, we can elevate everything back up to where it was years ago.